Hi, this is Carrie Rhodes with CarrieStamps.com, your fun stampers journey coach. Today I'm going to show you a project using the note pocket die. I'm going to alter this a little bit to make a treat holder like this. Some ideas I have with this are to use it as a napkin holder. I just have a little napkin tied up here. You could slide in there and some utensils. You could also put candy bar in here or a treat you make at home, maybe some hot cocoa. So it's just a fun little project, not too hard to make. So let me show you how I made it. Here's our cute napkin holder, treat holder, that I'm gonna show you how to make and use the note pocket die. And I also wanted to show you the Bountiful Thanks stamp set. This is the entire set that I'm using um, for this card. I'll use the sunflower, the gourd, the pumpkin, the happy Thanksgiving, but look at all the fun stamps in the set. I love it. Okay, so we're using the note pocket die to make our little holder. One of my favorite dies, I've used it lots of different ways. If you've seen my blog, you've seen a few of them. And when I die cut it, I just run the whole thing through my platinum machine to die cut one piece because um, it's a eight and a half by 11 machine, so I'm able to do that. And then I've got enough paper to make another one also. So to make our napkin holder, treat holder, we're going to cut this apart. So I'm just gonna give it a fold back and forth on that crease line, and then I'm gonna snip it apart on the crease line. And just remove this piece. Now we have two pieces. So I'm going to leave this one and decorate it with a piece of our Fall Fest paper. This measures three and an eighth by four and five eighths. So anytime you want to add a layer to this piece of the note pocket, even if you're going to use it as a card, you know, like it is supposed to go, three and one eighth by four and five eighths is the size you want. We'll mount that on there with some craft glue or, you know, your favorite adhesive. Like so. I love these leaves and the colors. It's just the perfect fall paper. All right, now this piece is going to go around the middle. So we're going to fold on those crease lines. I find with the die cuts, it's best to fold forward and then back on the crease line. We're going to attach that with some of our white liner tape. So we'll put a piece on each of the flaps and that's going to really hold it down when um, you are, you know, manipulating the little holder trying to get stuff in and out of it. This is going to really stay put. So you don't have to worry about it coming off. All right, so I'm going to put this in the middle of the panel here. Wrap that around. And I wrapped it really tight so you can see now it's starting to kind of um, bow. See there? So now we've got a nice little slot to stick our napkin, our utensils, a candy bar, whatever you want to stick in there. We're going to now wrap this with another piece from the Fall Fest prints. I love this little wheat so pretty. So I'm going to put some glue right in the middle and I want a border on the bottom. There we go. I just really want that to stick so when I turn it over it's not going to wiggle when I glue the rest down. This strip is about, oh here I have the dimensions for you, one and a half by eight and a half. It's plenty long to overlap. You could make it shorter. Just happened to be what I had. And then when you overlap this, you want to try and line them up. So it's straight here and straight here. Okay. And now I want to stamp my sentiment, which is Happy Thanksgiving. The ink I'm going to use is Dark Roast nice dark dark brown great color to have 
All right, so stamp that on the right so we have room to put our cute things. Very good. All right, so that's the basis of it, and then we're just going to make it cute. All right, we're going to take a piece of buttercream cardstock, just a scrap, whatever size, and I've mounted three the three images I want to use on one block, and I'm going to stamp them with black licorice ink. And I like putting them on there all at once, stamping once, and well, maybe I have to stamp twice. I didn't get the bottom of my cord. So we'll flip it over. There we go. Thank goodness for two-sided paper. Okay, now we're going to color these using the Color Burst pencils. Love these. We're gonna just color these really however you want. I'm gonna show you how to do the sunflower, and I'm gonna use with the Journey Color Burst pencils, 15, 16, and then I'm gonna to go to the bottom. I'm gonna get pencil 38, 39, and 41. So some yellows and browns. I'm gonna start with my lightest color and give my flower petals a base of color. I like to just use a light hand because you can always go back and add more color if you color with a light hand. If you color this in really hard, you're gonna get kind of a waxy finish and then it's going to be impossible to add more color. So once your image gets all waxy, you're not gonna be able to blend the colors. So just a light layer of number 16. You can see I can go back over it with another light layer and make those a little bit darker. Okay, then we're going to come in with pencil 15. This one's um, a little darker and I'm going to add some color right where the flower petals are coming out of the center of the flower and kind of paying attention to color these lines a little darker and the edges of the petals a little darker. There's my yellow. Now I'm gonna work on the center of my flower. So I'm gonna start with pencil number 38 and just give a light layer to the whole thing. Then the cent very center, pencil number 39. And this is making it darker. And then I'm gonna add some accents with pencil 41, a really dark brown, where these little lines are, where the little circles are. I'm just gonna color a little bit. Maybe go around the edge a little. All right, then you can use your um, Color Burst Blender. It's just rolled paper. And you can come in here and soften your pencil lines and blend those colors together. And I'm gonna flip it over to kind of a bare spot and blend the center. There you have it. Then I did greens on the gourd and some oranges on the pumpkin in the very same kind of way, soft layers at first and then you build up with more soft layers and then use my blending tool. All right, then we are going to cut these out. There's no dies for this stamp set. That's okay because I've got my Details Pro shears and I like to just turn the paper when I cut instead of turning my hand and I find that I can get a little bit better image or a little bit better edge when I cut. Okay, so just like that. And then I've got my pieces here that I've already colored and cut out. We'll add that to our little holder with some foam squares. Couple, oh, I wanna do the gourd first. 
Just a couple foam squares on each one should do. Like that. And you could make this as simple as you want if you're making a, a bunch or you could make them fancy fancy and use them for neighbor gifts or dress up your table. It'd be a um ooh, almost put that on upside down. It'd be like a, a thing I would want to take home, or you could even reuse them. All right, now we need to just add a little bit more to dress this up. So I'm gonna bring in my box and my gold silk. I'm gonna shake that up and I'm gonna just put some splatter all over this. Some gold splatter. I do want it on my cutouts there and all over just a little splash of gold. Love it. So as this dries, you're going to see that gold really come out. Awesome. Okay, one more little thing I want to add, and that is some gold fashion pearls. And I like to use my scissors to put these on. What you, what you want to do is open them just a tiny bit and scoot that pearl off. That way you're gonna get, oh, I got two. That's fine, I need two. Um, you're gonna get that glue dot that's on the back of it to come off with it. Put one up here. So just put a few on however you like it. If you're wanting to make a bunch and go cheap, then don't put on the pearls. So then you can see on my finished one here, I just tied the napkin with some of our twine that has um, gold, the gold twine, and slide it in there. And there's plenty of room to add more things. So there you have it. Another way to use your note pocket die. Thank you guys for watching and letting me share with you what I love, which is making fun things with paper and sharing them with you. If you have any questions about this project, please let me know. If you would like to purchase any of the products that I used, I would love for you to visit my online store. You can find that at www.funstampersjourney.com slash stamps. If you'd like to see more of my creations and my projects, I share all kinds of things at my blog, carrystamps.com. You can find links to the products in the description below. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe so you can see all of my videos and let me share my creations with you. Happy stamping and I will see you again soon. Bye bye.